Are not you done yet? You around if you don't stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, guys. Look at this. You see where the eggs were? That was covered with eggs. Now, look at all the babies swimming around the mama. There's babies everywhere. Do you see them swimming? Look at them coming out from behind that leaf. She's nice. warding everybody off. She's picking them up. And look at all them babies. Nest. <laughs> yeah, look at all the babies. We had babies born from angels that lived this time. First time. Look at all them babies. There's at least and look at her. She is fighting off everybody. Get away from my area. She is fighting them all off. And this is in a community tank. Look at all these community fish. They're all on this side. Look at nothing here. They're all over here. That's a good mama. Look at her working. She's keeping them all at bay. Daddy Look up. at them babies. That's the daddy up there. This is the daddy up here? Yeah. Yeah, he's not doing his job at all. Oh, he is when he's over there. Mama is working. Look at all them babies. She, there's not one other fish by her. He catches but wait, them but wait, look, they, look. Okay, sorry. Look at all those fish over there. They're all on the other side. There's a bunch of them. There ain't none by Here, mama. Watch that baby. She'll come get it and spit it back in the nest. Oh, she did? She yeah, grabbed she'll them? she'll spit it back in the nest. Watch it. Stay over here, son. Stay over here, daughter. Yep, she just spit them out. <laughs> Look at that. The male will do the same thing. He lets them Amazing. get to them out here. What he'll kills come me? Over here and grab them and go put them but back what kills me is that's a 150 gallon tank. And look at all the fish staying on that side. Look at the fish going in. No, no, it don't matter. Look at how many fish are staying at bay away from her. This is amazing. She's doing, you're a good mama. You're a good mama. Look at them babies. Good mama. Amazing. Look at all these guys. Look at all these fish. Right? Believe that? They all know to stay away from Mama over here. <laughs> She's by herself. She's got this whole quarter of the tank. She ain't taking no crap from none of them. I love this. This is nature at its best. All right, guys. We, uh, we went outside and worked a little bit, but um, I forgot the camera. So me and Josh, we worked our butts off. We did this by ourselves. Let me take you outside and show you what this is, Joe. I'm gonna open the side door. <sighs> Look, the whole thing is taken down. We have the tarp to carry through, but Reaper left here tonight, and he called John, he called Luke, and we have a community service guy coming tomorrow. They were all supposed to come over and help us move that metal framing tomorrow. And uh, I wanted it done today so that I could pressure wash tomorrow and clean all this out before they come to put the metal, the yeah, the metal uh, carport up. So me and Josh took it apart pole by pole, and we re we didn't reassemble it, but it's it's placed in the backyard where we want it and what pieces go where. So we have things to do tomorrow, like move all of these little poles. We're gonna clear out this little corner here, and. These are the two ends for the pool still we haven't installed. This is a tub that we're never going to use. So uh, these are empty, you know, pots and plants and soil down in them. And this is a liner. So we just got to move all this stuff. We're going to put them metal poles right there in that corner. This is where all the garbage cans go across there. We took it out for garbage already. So uh, we have to drain out most of the water out of there. And I can put a tarp around the bottom of it, hook it up to the forklift and pull it. It just needs to be in the center. And that'll be okay. This has to be a foot away from the wall on each side and the end. That's going to be the hard part. So what we're going to do is everybody's going to get in there tomorrow and take out all that sand, any water that's in there, and then all that sand we'll put in buckets to make it lighter and we can move it easier. And then uh, we'll pressure wash all this and also carry this tarp to the backyard. So it's pretty heavy. It's pretty big. It's, you know, I think... 45 foot long and 16 foot, 17 foot wide. So we have to carry it through here or take it back here. But now you get a little look-see of what we're going to do with the metal framing and the tarp <coughs> until it's complete garbage. Okay. There's the back side. Of the, there's the deck and the pond over there and the patio here. So we decided 
we're going to rebuild this here as long as we can make it. I've got a bunch of poles under that deck there from when it was up there. It was 40 foot long. This is only 32. So there's like six more poles over there. We can replace some. We can fix some. We can rebuild it here. And we're going to rebuild it right across here. And that way, it'll just have a little tarp coming down this way. And I can drive my bobcat under it, uh, riding lawnmower, any of that kind of stuff can just park under there. And it'll be okay and out of the way. So we're going to rebuild it. We're going to make it last a little longer before we scrap it. And then we'll put the, the top over it, and we'll be okay. So that's what we're going to do tomorrow when Reaper gets here. <coughs> In the meantime, uh, yeah, there's really nothing else to do. I did the lawn. I mowed the lawn today and did all that. Uh, we've had uh, uh, Kathy and Skyler taking turns watching Tracy in there so and we've been organizing all this stuff for the sale so once the carport gets here we're going to load the underside of the carport up with rows you can see tanks you can see boxes of stuff tanks this way and then on their back more tanks behind them so you know it's like a yard sale but it'll be under the metal tarp so none of this will be out here no more um there's all kinds of stuff here all kinds so yeah but look how much open and, and the carport's gonna be against that wall following that roof line and it's gonna be under that overhang coming over to here and overhanging here to about the door right there and going straight down and then that'll all be open and under it no rain no worry of snow load and we'll be good I just need to take and, and I want to put a fascia on it and then garage doors so there's like two garage doors or even three garage doors to get in and out but we'll see let's move on to the next thing alright there's the riding lawnmower now and Skyler's little uh, boat trailer but I got the lawn mow today it's Skyler's boat motor Stan, Skyler's boat, Skyler's car she's taking over the place this is Kathy's tanks. She still ain't got inside, so she's starting to take over. Now, these plants are starting to take over, but they're all growing out here. Look at this. The hostas are coming in. The grasses are coming in. Look at them. Grasses coming up out of the water had spread. That wasn't out in the, in the pond that far. And then all this hosta in the corner and all that stuff, that green, that leafy stuff right there. I don't know what that is behind the, around the hosta. But that stuff creeps everywhere. We have to take it apart all the time and, you know, get it up out of there. So uh, we're going to start weeding out here, too. I, I said that when me and Reaper were out here today, I'm like, you know what, Reaper? He goes, I know we have to start weeding. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> but if you look over here, look how big these hostas are growing next to the pond. Them things are growing nice. These ones don't grow as big. They're nowhere near the water source. So, look at the. We got some grasses in there we got to take out. But the lily pads are starting to really come in. And this is starting. This is more of that green stuff. This is. We got to get rid of this and eliminate it. That stuff spreads way too quick. And I want to get a gazing ball for on top of here. And then this. Uh, not lilac. What is this? Uh, uh, smells really good. It might be lilac. I think that's what it is. It's gotten bigger. I wanted it to block this off so you couldn't walk through here. And it is starting to do that. Last summer, it didn't grow at all. This summer, it's coming back way bigger. So what we need to do is, as it grows, because it can grow huge, as it grows, let it grow sideways, and then cut it off on this side and that side to where it's a hedge-type bush right there. And it blocks anybody from coming in here. In other, in other words, you can't get to that seat unless you walk across the, the, the bridge. But you know, with the different color hostas, and they're looking good. And they're so easy to take care of. And then this is another plant that spreads too much that we got to get out of here. This was a, a potted plant in the water. And now it come up on the ground, and it's all up into our mulch. And this, is, you can't even tell what's under here, but there's decorations and stuff. I think uh, like a, a dolphin or something, water spitter. It's under it. So it's all spread everywhere. It's crazy. Way too much. So let me see what else. Uh, 
but spring is definitely here. We are starting to grow things, and we are definitely lacking on weeding around here. So we got Skylar, Kathy, me, and Reaper. We're just going to attack it one day and just get it all done. You can see the creeping Jenny is growing out away from the pond and into the, the mulch. So, and we, and that's another thing. We're going to hook up a chain around this thing and, or even a, a strap, a ratchet strap. And I'll use the riding lawnmower to pull it out because we can't get that thing out. But it's grown so big that when that grows its full size, midsummer, you can't see nothing behind it. It's, it covers the whole pond. So we want that out of there. We can throw that in the very, very far back pond. And then this little, this little tree hasn't done well at all. It's stayed this size for the last three years now. But it's definitely starting to grow and looking nice. Okay, guys, it is the next day. And look at this. All the bars were moved. Um, it's not even 11 o'clock yet. And the early birds that showed up, they moved everything. Stacked them up here and moved everything out of the corner already. We got Jim Sheasley here. Jerry, of course. And, you know, he's always here. Your man, Reaper. <laughs> you know, he likes to go deeper. <laughs> but we also have Mark here. Where's he at? He's up there somewhere. Yeah, he just did all this. Did he? Awesome. Hey, here he comes. What did you call us? The, the, uh, the elderly I, crew? Yeah. No, not the elderly crew. Oh, the decrepit crew. The decrepit crew. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah, what we are. <laughs> I, I said, you guys that showed up first are the most loyal, and, 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 and you're, you're the ones that can do the least amount of work. So <laughs> we're going to put you guys in charge <laughs> Over the hill, of all the kids. <laughs> And then we got Mark that shows up. Hi, Mark. <laughs> so we are uh, trying to clean up everything. We're going to move this next, and then we're going to move that. So, every, you know, people are here, and there's a lot more coming. We got about eight more people coming. So we're getting it done quick already. Oh, my God. Reaper says, hang on a second, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab this stand. And he jumps up on top of my van, and, and poor Jim's down here like, oh, hold up. <laughs> So we're getting the standoff now. Hang on one second. Go ahead, guys. Pull it on down a little bit. Jim, if you get one side, I'll get the other side. You got it. You sure? Go on down. Got it. Yep. Good deal. Good deal. Reaper, get off my roof. <laughs> you're like a little. You're like a little monkey. I swear to God. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do is look around, and you know, hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> And uh, there's Reeve and, and there's Jerry back there and Reeves over here. And then the new young guys over here shoveling out the tank <laughs> all by his lonesome. I'm going to give you an attaboy. How about that? <laughs> you get an attaboy. He can take that home and hang it on your, on your wall. <laughs> so, hard. Uh, so we're going to take this sand here. He's got that side cleared. And we're going to put it in this tub. Uh, we looked for, we found the pieces of, or actually, Mark found pieces of 2 by 4 to set it up. We're going to pick this up with the uh, forklift and be able to move it. Because we tried 5-gallon buckets, and we would need probably 30 or so how much sand is in here. So, we're going to let this young buck keep working. <laughs> and uh, when it gets all the way over here, we'll start shoveling it out. Good job, bro. Good job. Atta boy. Okay, we got half of it cleared out. Look at that. He's doing a good job. He's shoveling it into the bucket, handing it up, and uh, Mark's over here taking it and putting it into the tub, which we will lift with the forklift and move to the side and be out of the way. This is getting done. Thank you, guys. You're all working tremendously. Attaboy. Yeah, you all get an attaboy, but, you know, nobody more than, you know, your girlfriend because she gets an girl for making you work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get an ice cream. That's what you get. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right, so we got that done. And look, these guys here are moving this over. We've got the tub moved out of there where it was. And it's over here. They're setting up the uh, the filter system right back on it. These are the koi that are still in there. And that's the pump for it. And they're setting that back up. Next we got clean this area out here and then we can move that 2,000 gallon tank 
Uh, they've already cleaned out the inside all the way over there, all the way to here. There's a little bit more to go. And when I say they, I mean him. <laughs> he did it. He was inside. <laughs> so we are getting things done. Poor Mark here. He had to take, as a young buck here, lifted up the five-gallon bucket. Mark had to take the five-gallon bucket and put it into tubs. We've got them, if you can see, right there and there, full of sand. And uh, kind of kind of almost broke Mark, huh? Broke. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting her done though we're getting it done and they call they're not coming tomorrow they're coming today at three so all we got to do is move this tank here and get this pressure washed and we'll be good i think we'll have it done so thank for the thank i'm thankful for all the the volunteers that showed up today and all of our friends that showed up today we got this done which was an impossible task there was too much to do before these people got here so I thank everybody. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. All right, we're doing the thing with the power sprayer. We got the big tub out. We got the water flowing on that now, and we're just starting to uh, clean the cement. So we're still gonna move the two thousand yet. farther you go away the less it takes out so you need to go back and forth, back and forth. yeah do the back and forth thing okay. yes
far away. Hold this on here. Got you. Watch this. Okay. See the cleaner area? Yeah. Okay, now this is the color of the roofing going on, but if you look, let's see if I can get farther back. Look at that. The whole framework is up. This is nice. All the way going inside. There we are. Look at that. Look at that solid roof. No more snow load we ain't got to worry about. Nice. It's getting done. There's the flooring on each side. Yes. And they're getting ready to put the, the ceiling on, the roofing. And you can see it's the end of the day, so this is a, it matches the same rest of the same house, you know, same color as the rest of the house. Look at that. They're doing a good job. That'll be the same color that's up here under this part of the house. All the same brown roofing. So they're doing a good job. Let me get back here through all this mess. There we go. Now we can see. There's the steel structure. No more snow load. I'm so happy. It's about 8 o'clock at night. It's been a long day. And uh, they're getting it done. Now see, what we got to worry about is making some sort of beam between here and there. Because what we want is a garage door there. And a garage door there. So we got to eliminate these beams going across here. So we're going to find some sort of plate thing that goes on them feet, and then we can screw it to the cement, and then that'll be open between, and we can put a garage door there and be able to drive in and out without going over that square hump. So this is all stuff that they can't do, that they're not going to do. It's not going to warranty their system. So we have to do it ourselves after they're done. But it is getting done. Look at that. And you won't see any of this no more. This will all be covered. Very nice. Very, very, very nice.